good everybody this is ice from ice multimedia and i'd like to welcome you back to another video photoshop tutorial as you can see here the topic of today's tutorial is going to be an introduction to layer masking now uh, i say introduction i'm actually going to kind of just jump right into the thick of things um, but at the end of this tutorial hopefully you will have been introduced to enough information to at least uh, start in shop and here i already have a stock right now is we're going to place a render in the background, sort of like a, uh, a King Kong effect, if you will, kind of reaching around the buildings. In this case, it's going to be a David Banner render that I grabbed from excuse me, officialpsds.com. Um, now, you can basically place your render into your uh, stock image any number of ways. I personally go with the, um, the copy and paste method. Um, you're certainly welcome to just select your move tool and drag and drop into um, your stock image. But I already have mine placed conveniently um, for what I want to try to do here, so I'm just going to turn the layer visibility on um, so you can see that. So here we have David Banner. Um, right now it looks like junk because he's all in front of the buildings and we we not getting the appearance that we're looking for at all. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to apply some layer masks and hopefully just achieve more of a realistic effect. Um, for those of you who don't know, you're going to come down into your layer palettes and you're going to select this sort of circle within a square here. That is your add layer mask button. So we're going to go ahead and just select that. And currently it doesn't really do anything visible, but uh, it's certainly going to help us out with the blending after the fact in this case. Um, now there you see like a little checkered outline around your layer mask now this is going to differentiate what portion of your image you're working on whether you're actually working on the layer mask or you're working on the actual image itself so if I had the checkered box around David Banner all of the edits that I would be making would be occurring to David Banner himself whereas if I had it around the layer mask all of the things would be happening to the layer mask itself now in order to begin editing a, lay editing a layer mask, you need to be working with your paintbrush and black and white. Now, black is basically going to hide portions of the mask that you don't want to see. So it's going to hide the portions of the image that you're, you don't want to see, and then white would bring them back after the fact. So um, I actually already have conveniently got myself some work paths together with um, with the pen tool. Um, you can use a brush yourself. You get the best results with the pen tool if you go through and you actually select um, everything that you don't want to show. If you're unfamiliar with the pen tool, I can do a tutorial on that um, a little later on, but for the most part, I think uh, most people have a, a grasp on that. Um, so in this case, as I said, I'm going to be wanting to hide these portions of of the render so it appears that he's sort of behind all of the buildings. Now in order to do that I want to go ahead and I would be painting in black like I said because I'm I want to make all of these areas disappear and that's just what I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just paint out the render. You could also just use fill if you have the work paths. Um, I'm just gonna show you how to do this real quick with the brush and as you can see it's just sort of appearing that he is now behind the building sort of reaching around grabbing them and you get, you get kind of a cool like movie poster looking effect so just paint that out real quick and then I'm just gonna press control D to deselect and there we go we have David Banner behind the building it's kinda like he's grabbing him and that was achieved very simply using layer masks in a non-destructive manner, which means we could unapply the layer mask, in this case, disable it, and our, st our image is still the same. Now then we go ahead and we enable our, la our layer mask, and he's back behind the building, so it's incredibly useful. Um, now, just another quick thing that you can do with layer masks is say you were actually done with this. You spent a few hours blending, uh, you spent some time blending the image and um, 
you know, you had some cool text on here and you're just ready to go. So you're just going to make this a random mixtape cover, but obviously change the dimensions. Um, in that case, what what you would do is here's here's another little little cool effect that you can do is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to just apply this image as if I would um, finished up all of my work. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go up to image, go apply image. And that effectively is just going to give me um, all of my layers together as one whole thing, but I still have the layers I could edit if I wanted to after the fact, as you can see here. So I'm just going to hide those for the moment. Now, in this case, I'm going to duplicate this layer. Press Control J for your hotkey. You could also select your layer, right click, and go up to duplicate layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and desaturate this. I'm going to make this black and white, so I'm going to press Control Shift U. As you can see, you just get a black and white image. Now, uh, we can apply a layer mask to sort of bring some of the color through and accentuate different portions. In this case, I'm just going to bring back some of the vibrant lighting from the skylines here. So again, we're going to apply our, our layer mask. Working in our layer mask, we're going to go ahead and get our brush tool, and we're going to get a soft brush with a small, relatively small radius. Um, I'm quickly toggling through my brush size settings using my bracket keys right there. Um, now we're just going to go ahead and start painting on the mask, and we're just going to paint out all the areas that you know would would be lit. Changing the the diameter of our brush depending on you know how big the area is we're trying to select. And then if you happen to forget you know just where you want to uh, get rid of the mask, you can just go ahead and just toggle on the visibility, and you can see which parts you want to bring through come down here and you, uh, you just bring some of the uh, the lighting accents out and you get kind of a cool effect um, but there there are really lots of uses for layer masks this is just two very very simple and easy ones that I'm showing you right here um, but pretty much once you learn the basic fundamentals like I've pretty much shown you right here um, you can apply them in so many different ways in your designs and, and get a lot of uh, interesting effects. So um, I hope you learned something from this quick tutorial and I hope you look forward to more tutorials from Ice Multimedia in the future. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just hit us up at icemultimedia at gmail.com. So take it easy. One.